this is the building final mix video and I'll, I'll let you know this is the last video that I have to film in the whole SS videos it's been a long and hard process believe me but here we go this is where all the work and everything we've done you've recorded you've done your MIDI tracks you've tweaked and done everything and now you wanna you wanna mix it down to a a, a, a stereo file or a mono file whatever you wanna want do so this is how you do it you, you it's easy you just go up to process mix down and you have your choices build the final mix to a new sound file that will open it up what that does is build it into a separate file that has nothing to do with this with the this EDL it's a separate new sound file or you can build a, it to a hot track and uh, there's an option here build mix to FX modules but this is uh, something you probably never use you can read about it in the manual it's something uh, you know left over from the early saw days from what my understanding is and of course you can build mix sample rate conversion quality um, you can read that about that in the manual too and basically the you're gonna get a better quality mix the higher you go but it's gonna take up more CPU and and on and on you can read about that in the help file very easy to understand but I'm not gonna go over it. it's boring to read it but basically it is what it means lowest you, it will do it the fastest and you know it is what it is so read about that in the manual but here we go I mean if I want to if I just want to render okay this area right here of the mix it's going to only render that area. If I want to build this area, all this stuff right here, I mean, it will go through every channel all the way down, just that area will be uh, uh, rendered. I'm going to clear that. But if I leave this open, just like this, it's going to render everything. Everything. Let's try it and see what happens. Build my mix to this this hot track right here. Let's build it there. It's going to ask me uh, what I want to render it at. 48. Uh, do I want to render it at 24? Blah blah blah. Well, you usually want to do it at 44, 16, right? Stereo. Let's see what happens. okay it just rendered that and we can now solo this track just by pressing the hot solo key and uh, here if it uh, worked it sure did there we just rendered uh, all this and all the effects and everything we just rendered it to this this track now we could if that, and then that's because we selected build mix to current hot track now if I build this mix to if I wanted to uh, take this mix and take it out uh, outside saw studio or finalize it I always do build mix to new sound file this is its own file all the you know it's it's this is this is what you're gonna burn onto a CD or that's what I do so uh, you know we can uh, let's burn it to a new sign a new uh, sound file and see what happens uh, see uh, dreams journey blah 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 shot blah blah this is this is something I've been something I've been working on having fun with I mean when I when I record like this is a song I'm, I'm developing I just I just hurry up and record the pieces I stick them on here and I mess around with them. Nothing final, nothing. This is just to have to mess around with to create with. And then when I get it all, get every part right, well, then I'll uh, go back and really record it good. I recorded this stuff on the fly super fast. 
and it still comes out nice. I mean, it's something you can work with it. You know, you create with it. Okay, we built our uh, mix to a new sound file, and it opens up in the sound file view. When we press play, and there it is. I have a I have a mix now. I can burn to a CD, and I can mess around with it, listen to it, and you know, you, that's how you come. That's how I come up with ideas. You know, I record what I have. When I have an idea, I go in real quick and record it. Put it together. I mean, in Saw Studio, you can do that in a, in a heartbeat. But uh, so I mean, say you had uh, somebody wanted to track their stuff at your place, and then they want to take the tracks out to another uh, a mixing facility, say. Well, you, all you would do is uh, you can do that. You would just make sure you have all your effects off. Turn all the effects off, and make sure you just have the the flat recording, the the you know, the real deal recording with nothing else on it. And you go and you select a track that you want. Well, actually, it's easier to do it this way. Uh, come over here and select that track to the end, to, to the end of the song. Okay, that's the end of this song right there, right? Now I'm going to select that track. I'm going to build it to a new sound file. I'm going to label this... Uh, this is going to be called, uh, oh, I'm just going to call this the synth, because that's what it is. So Dream Journey Synth, there it is. And it's going to render that, just that track, but it's going to render it from the start, zero, all the way to this end marked area. And you would go through and do this to each each track this is going really slow because I'm recording right now and rendering I'm doing a bunch of stuff in this computer so if I wasn't recording this it would go real quick and there you there you go see there's just the synth part and then it's flat all the way through but if you do this to every track so I say, okay, that's great. There, there it is. That's the synth. Okay, great. You know, you, I, I would set up a file to save it in. Then all you have to do is go to the next one. See how it, the 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 highlight's gonna follow you, and it's gonna it's gonna do it to each one. You understand? You'd render it. Render. Oh, that one's not one. Render new new sound file, and go on down. And then you could have a file. Burn that file to a CD and. You could take it wherever you want. You have your your plain uh, recordings without any effects on them, or you can you can do the same thing with all the effects on them. But uh, basically, that is uh, the build mix to new sound file, and uh, I will leave you with the song I've been working on, just for the fun of it. It's uh. It's a pretty cool song. One day when it's all done, I'll post it on my website and let you all know.